Hi everybody, this is Crimson Pleasure with Let's Play Mass Effect. Uh, now I know this is an old game, this is a very old game at this point, and uh, some of you are probably wondering, why are you playing Mass Effect? Well, there is an answer to that. You see, um, ooh, music went away, okay, sorry, you see, uh, I have played all of the Dragon Age games, uh, Origins, to Inquisition, and um, as I was playing Inquisition on Twitch earlier this year, uh, actually, early, early last year now, um, it, I mentioned to some uh, watchers that I had not played Mass Effect, and they were shocked, and they said they wanted to watch me play Mass Effect. So I put a poll out, and for Let's Play, the most chosen game was Mass Effect. So here we are playing Mass Effect. Now, I had already started playing Mass Effect, and that's Let's Play got corrupt at some point or whatever. So we are going to start over again. Um, thankfully, I know a little bit of Welcome what's going on. Welcome to Alliance on. Military Database. So hopefully it will take me like an hour requested. to get into the game. Establishing secure connection. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Confirmed. Custom Please PayPal. log in to access your profile. Crimson. Connection established. It's all confidential. It's top secrets. Don't tell anybody, okay? Warning. Data corruption detected. Oh no! Corrupt data. Oh no. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. All right, so um, real um, just so I can get through this a little bit quicker, uh, I'm gonna go with Spacer. Both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood is spent on ships and stations as they transfer from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Uh, following your parents' footsteps, you enlisted uh, at the age of 18. It was either that or you know my entire population gets killed or I was raised on the streets. So we're gonna Confirm go with Spacer. Psychological profile. Psychological profile. <laughs> Destroyed. Um so I'm gonna choose Soul Survivor. During your service a mission uh during your service, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell and now are uh now you alone are left to tell the tale. It's either that or War Hero, which is so, kind of the same thing, except for I get medals. Um, and uh, Ruthless, which makes me a, a horrible person. I'm personally, I would, I'm more ruthless, but you know. Confirm military we're playing a specialization. Game. Um, and I'm going to go for Sentinel, which uh, Sentinel. Uh, no, I'm gonna go for soldier. Uh, every time I play a game like this, the first uh, character I always play is always a, a fighter of some sort. So, it's a fighter. Uh, I said that was basically like a mage. Yeah, mage like, mage warlock. Uh, this looks like a rogue to me. Um, this is the healer. Uh, this could be the ranger-ish person. I'm not sure how engineer would translate into D&D. So please tell me in the comments below um, what uh, class I stupidly forgot that an engineer Confirm should Confirm facial identification. Oh, we are not going to look like that. <sighs> All right. So I belong to a Facebook Kind of looks like uh, Liliandra. Um, I belong to a Facebook. Oh, I wanted to start with Liliandra. Um, a Facebook group uh, dedicated to um, our love for Dragon Age, and uh, they send me pictures or they post pictures constantly of like the hours they spent on these character, their character creation, and it comes out absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's just as pale as Casper. Um, and uh, 
they're go- they're absolutely they're gorgeous and and stunning and I'm I'm always so envious and I'm constantly like I will go with somebody I can tolerate playing for the next 80 to 150 hours I just, as much as, I used to have the patience. I used to sit there when I, I played The Sims and everything. I would sit there and I would, um, I could ha put my friends in the room and then I would, uh, basically stare them down as I, I created the perfect visage. And, uh, I just, I don't care that much anymore. <laughs> I just don't have the patience for it. Uh, but I, I, <clears throat> excuse me. I will, I will be messing a little bit here. That all looks wonky. That all looks just so weird. Now this, this game came out uh, during the area of era of the 360, uh, PS3. So the graphics are not going to be what you would want uh, want them to be. I assumed earlier that this was like a blue purple, but uh, uh, or a, like a gray purple, but I guess it's blue because this is more like that's green, that's gray. I guess that's blue. Ah, blue or purple doesn't really matter to me. Um, doo -doo -doo. that's all basically fine. There we go. Okay. Um, no, go back. I I think I look fine. Except for duck face. There's a little bit of a duck face going on. Um which I find disturbing. But the smile looks just awkward. Maybe it's because making me smile just looks awkward. That looks better. That's a, a little less duck face, I guess. I did now. I do. I do have a copy of The Sims 4, which I will be playing with Vonry um, so, at some time shortly. Um, and I did make my character there, and I think I did a pretty amazing job. Um. Of course, it doesn't look exactly like me, but I think I, I stared at myself in my webcam for a good long time, and I think, I think, I think I got it pretty good. Hair and makeup, that's what it's all about, right? And there's my red. Oh, I love that. Yeah, we'll just. Eyebrows. I found out the eyebrows imp were important in inquisition. Um, when my eye the eyebrows on my main character were a bit atrocious. That's fine. And I okay. I I may be female, but I do not know how to do the makeup. Um. So I do not make up good. Um. So, so bear with me and don't laugh at me. Uh, see, my go-to is just to go red, so we'll just do that. I don't understand the blush either. The blush. It's not just blush, it's the blush. That's how alien it is to me. I don't. I don't do the makeups. Okay, that looks good. And I'm, okay, I'm still having issues with the mouth. What's wrong with the mouth? Can I do anything? Okay, with with lipstick on, the smile doesn't look so atrocious. The 
question is, can can I tolerate staring at this face? I'll be fine. All right. We good? Profile okay. reconstruction complete. <sighs> there we go. All right. So we have we have Crimson Shepherd, Commander Shepherd. Confirm. Identification confirmed. All right. Combat's normal. Yes, I have my targeting assist on high because I'm gonna need it. Because I cannot use my controller with this game, which makes me sad face. Makes me so sad face. Well, what about Shepard? She's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of her life. Military service runs in the family. Both her parents were in the Navy. Navy. She saw her whole unit die on a cruise. She could have some serious emotional scars. So many scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. I know that voice too. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? Yeah. That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. See, Anderson's got my back. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. Decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. God damn it, I wasn't finished reading. That's as fast as I go. The Arcturus Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Of course, there's somebody on my ship. Joker. If, you, if you don't get why that's funny. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Requiring approach vector. That voice sounds familiar too, but I play a lot of video games, so. All stations secure for transit. I'll have to look it up. like Seth Green. It's Seth Green. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the <laughs> official of story. Things. But only an idiot believes the official story. That's enough. Your soldiers act like it. Sorry, Commander. Joker. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. Don't drag you me get that, over. Commander? I'm on my way. <laughs> Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. So one of the things I, I did notice when I was uh, previously playing is that I, I love um, the grainy effect that's going on. I think it's great. 
and uh, I think it really adds a feel to it. So, okay, this is my, this is where all my, my tutorials are, but we're gonna wing it. I'm telling you, I just saw him. He marched by like he was on a mission. Inspector, they're always on a mission. And we're getting dragged right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the Captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. I hate my We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Do you have a problem with the Captain? No, ma'am. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Maybe he's Something listening. big is going on. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war, Species. lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board, especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the Captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. After all that, you think I'd be mad about my mouth? Nope. Mad about the nose. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coups. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this up. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. 
Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Like protect doctor. it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. You're always getting dropped into impossible situations, forced to survive unbeatable odds, just like you on a coos. Fifty Marines died there, Jenkins. Sorry, Commander. I... I didn't mean to offend you. I... I respect what you did there. We all do. Let's not dwell on the past, Commander. Was there something else you needed? How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the Council could revoke the Spectre status of an agent who got out of hand. At that point, Citadel Security Services would take over. Those CSEC grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre justice. I'll be the first. The Get Corporal's the confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. It's too quiet. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Lots of horror. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Oakley doakley. Oh, the mini-map's down there. That's going to take some getting used to. Well, you're not the captain. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? Ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. Well, thanks. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know need to basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their I legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. And? Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role okay. in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. 
The specters represent the council's power and authority. <clears throat> if they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. One more. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. What if it's a beacon that awakes the last Protheans and they're really dangerous and they come to kill me? Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. All right, Just let's give go. the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Too late. Too late. Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! They came out of nowhere. We need... need to get down there right now. Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. I really hope I can change my appearance. All right, well, I am actually going to cut it. Engaging uh, stealth systems. I assumed Somebody I was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Well, yeah, that's what an excavation... Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are okay. approaching drop point two. All right, I am actually going to cut it there because um, I am about out of time for uh, this one. Um, this actually looks pretty awesome. I'm really excited to get into this. I just really wish I could use my 
fucking controller. But, you know, it shit happens. So, um, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you had fun. And uh, keep up with the other episodes that I'm going to be doing. Because this is probably going to be a very long Let's Play. But that's okay. That's what I'm here for. So, um, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you soon. Okay, thanks. Bye.